I'm Steve, and this is CC Garage. Hello YouTube and welcome back. Well today we're gonna work on the truck. Finally spent some money and bought some parts. We got our tubular upper control arms for 67, so I'm still using 67 ball joints. Got two and a half inch drop spindles. We got our disc brake conversion. Well, most of it. Didn't realize it's a three package thing until I got two packages and seen the fancy little label so I got that or that showed up on Friday and I'll get my other package on Tuesday but we're gonna go ahead and take this tire off and when I did the bags I left all this hand tight so that'll be easy to get off we'll put the new spindle on we'll put the new uh, control arm on and then I'm just gonna leave it on blocks until I get the rest of my parts so we set the camera up and we will get started Got your R on here for right hand side. Look at the difference. Definitely going to look a lot better. Should be a lot stronger. So I'm going to go ahead, pull off the hardware, put our Zerk fitting on, and bolt it up.
so much easier that I never tightened any of this when I put the bags in, which I knew what I was doing. And here's our new one compared to well, that one slipped around, but a little bit of a difference. Look at it this way. Well, this is all we can do on this side for now until we get the rest of our hardware because we got our hubs, but we don't have the bearings to put on here. And I'm not sure if these steel wheels are going to fit, but I got another set of line or another set of rollers lined up, so hopefully those fit. So now we're on to the pat or the driver's side, so. We're gonna go ahead. Camera died, so get to deal with this now. We'll go ahead and jack this back up to get that tire up off the ground. We got our newest shop member. Right, Parker? Hey, what's up, bud? Got to teach you young, huh? See how tight I got this side. Just the way I like it. Nope, still tight on top.
Just wait, boys. Using a pair of wire cutters to cut this bump stop off. So that way. Bump stop out of the way. I'm going to get these bolts way easier. Bump stops out of the way. Getting her with our. Stump Parker. Don't need that no more. Old ones off. Make sure your shims stay on there where they're supposed to. Come over here, grab our new one. Nice and shiny. Slide the new one on. Put your bolts on. Don't cross thread them. Hey, you can't cry. There's no crying in the garage. Just roaring, right? Hey, give me a roar. Say hi, YouTube. Hey. Hey. What? Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Can you say that? No, you can't even say data. Go ahead and drop our new spindle on. Lower ball joint nut. floor jack under here. So then line it up, you jack it up, make sure you take your nut off the top, ball joint. Parker, hey, you're okay. Still doing these finger tight because those are gonna get replaced. Now I can go ahead, throw our jack stand back under here. Try to not drop the truck. Nice and slow, guys. So this part is done. Hopefully we get our other package with our bearings and then we can get our brakes on. So stay tuned.